Hello class, welcome to another episode of Math Rocks. So for today we're talking about rounding numbers to the tenth place and rounding numbers in general. So the easiest way to round a number is to use a number line. Notice this number line is counting by hundreds from seven to seven and one tenth. So notice the number line is counting by hundreds and then we're rounding seven and six hundredths. So we're gonna round seven and six hundredths and we wanna know what is seven and six hundredths closest to? <clears throat> so we've put a diagram up here. If we jump from seven and six hundredths to seven, that is six hundredths. If we jump from seven and six hundredths to seven and one tenth, that is four hundredths. So you can see by using a number line that seven and six hundredths is closer to seven and one tenth. So if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, seven and six hundredths would round to seven and one tenth. Now we're gonna take a look at a different strategy. If the number line seems a little confusing to you, So here is another method of rounding, rounding decimals here. In this example, we're going to round to the nearest hundredths, to the hundredths place value. So this number is 7 and 856 thousandths, and we need to round to the hundredths. So step one, identify the place value. Notice how I've underlined in blue the hundredths place value. Step two, look at the digit to the right. So I drew a little line here in green to the digit to the right. We do that because that is a lesser place value and the digit is six. So step three, if the digit to the right is zero through four, zero, one, two, three, or four, the place value digit stays the same. So if this six here would have been a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four, we're going to drop that off, it would become zero, and this just would have been seven and eighty-five hundredths, rounding to the nearest hundred. However, if five or more, add one more. So here we have a six. So that's going to make this, this hundredths place increase by one. So it becomes seven and eight hundred fifty-six thousandths. Uh, excuse me, so seven and eight hundred fifty six thousandths becomes seven and eighty six hundredths. And that's our lesson for today.